some people want to know because the, they they checked out your website and looked at your educational background. Um, what are your thoughts on Reaganomics? <laughs> that we're still reeling from Reaganomics. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, and I will just defend my position on this is that uh, I think the difference between Obama and Trump is not as great as the difference between Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan. Um, that was such a huge sea change. Um, and we, and, and uh, both economically, militaristically, culturally. Um, you know, my mom says, and I'll never forget, she says, you know, she says, Ronald Reagan changed the country. He made it okay to be selfish. Uh, we went through the period, if you remember, and if you are too, you know, if you're too young, you need to listen to those of us that remember, and we're going to talk about it. I have been 27 uh, since the year 1933. Uh, okay. But, I mean, most yeah. people don't have my situation. Yeah, we've been, um, we've been increasingly more consumerist, increasingly more elitist, increasingly um, more uh, chasing that, that we had this show in the 1980s called The Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. I mean, if we didn't have Ronald Reagan, we would not have Donald Trump. Um, have you ever seen The Power of Nightmares? Mm, no. You got to see that movie. I mean, that, that movie, it, it, it talks about how, like, it was basically the age of American narcissism. And, and it really goes into what you're talking about. Mm. And it, it goes back a little further than Reagan. It kind of starts around, like, the 50s or so. Um, and, it, and it really traces all that. But, uh, but yeah, I, I Good, totally I just see what you're down. saying. Well, yes. Barack Obama admitted himself, he called himself, he's like, I'm a moderate Republican. I am. <laughs> and that was like very much an unmasking moment. He was like, hey, surprise. He ran on a centrist pl platform to begin with. These people well, that thought Obama was going to be an FDR, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I supported Dennis Kucinich in the OA primary. Yeah. And then when Obama got it, I was like, well, he's the moderate we're going to get after Bush. And that's, that's better than another Republican. And, you know, I got behind him. But I was like, okay, this is the moderate we need. And even that was wrong. Even my low expectations, I know. he didn't meet that bar. I mean, I mean, he, he, he ran on a center, moderately center left platform, delivered a center right one at best. I mean, one could argue it was a right wing one. Yeah. Um, well, and, and he admitted was, that himself. Sure, sure. I was, so I, I say I've been a, a green all these years. I've, 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 I've switched a couple of times. Uh, one, when did you start your animal shelter? Yeah, right. Uh, my my chickens are outside too. Um, really? I, yes, yes. Laying their eggs like they should. <laughs> Protein. You are so cool. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, so I switched a couple times back to Democrat. One was, of course, to vote for Bernie. Mm -hmm. um, and but I started bur Burners Against Militarism. Um, if we want to get back to that another time. Um, and I also switched to vote for Obama the first time. Um, in the primary against Hillary Clinton, I think, right? Yeah, Hillary Clinton. Anyway, um, the reason I did that was was only one thing. And sometimes I'm a, I'm a one issue gal. He said that he would talk to Fidel Castro. And I had never heard anyone say that. And I thought, wow, that's good enough for my vote. And of course, uh, he didn't. Um, he did some amazing things. He had no idea how important they were in US-Cuba relations. Um, if he did, he might not have done them. But uh, I'm glad he did, of course. But when he came in, uh, I remember day one, day two, Nancy Pelosi saying uh, there will be no accounting of the Donald uh, or you know Bush years and Donald Rumsfeld, Dick Cheney, George Bush Jr. They all got off scot free. And when I realized that they weren't going to go back, just like after the Reagan Bush years, we did not go back. And, um, you know, and unravel that, as you say, nightmare. Um, we weren't going to do it. And they were going to get off scot-free. And I knew right then, you know, day two, that forget about it. So. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, 
free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.